to chemistry tutorial 360 today we are going to balance this reaction this is calcium hydroxide this is phosphoric acid and this is calcium phosphate and this is water right okay i will balance this uh, equation in two methods or two ways so let me show you the first way right so let's get started to balance this equation i have to draw a table like this In the left hand side, uh, we'll get calcium, uh, we have one calcium and then we have oxygen, right? So here we have uh, two oxygen, right? Here we have two oxygen, plus here we have four oxygen. So that gives me totally six oxygen, right? Then we have here two hydrogen, so let me write that. Plus here we have three hydrogen so let me add and we are getting five uh, hydrogen and here also we have uh, one phosphorus right one phosphorus on the <coughs> right hand side we have three calcium right and here we have one phosphorus here we have two phosphorus right this phosphorus uh, will be multiplied by two right so we have here two phosphorus right and here we have oxygen we have here four times two that is eight oxygen plus here we have one oxygen so totally we are getting nine oxygen and here we have just two hydrogen so let me write that so <clears throat> we have to balance the number of calcium oxygen hydrogen and phosphorus if we want to balance this e equation right so let me first balance the calcium first so here we have one calcium but here we have three so if i multiply here just three then i will get three Remember, this three must come before this calcium. Okay, so that is here. So you have to place here three. Remember, if you place here three, the number of calcium will be three. So we have three, and the number of uh, oxygen will be uh, here two two times uh, three six oxygen, right? So here we are getting just six oxygen so let me update the number of oxygen so here we are getting six oxygen right plus here we have four oxygen so totally we are getting 10 oxygen here the number of hydrogen will be same so we are getting also six hydrogen right six hydrogen in calcium hydroxide and here we have three hydrogen so totally we are getting nine hydrogen right okay so uh, our calcium is uh, balanced our our oxygen is not balanced our hydrogen is not balanced and our phosphorus is not balanced so let me balance the phosphorus here so if i want to balance phosphorus then i can multiply here by two that gives me two right these two must come before this phosphorus that is here so i have to place here two if I place here 2, the number of uh, hydrogen will be 3 times 2, 6, right? So, I have to change the number of hydrogen. Okay. So we are getting here 12 hydrogen, right? 
here 6 here 6 so we are getting 12 hydrogen and the number of phosphorus here 2 2 and number of oxygen will be same so we are getting here uh, 4 times to 8 plus here we have uh, 6 so 6 plus 8 6 plus 8 that gives me 6 uh, 8 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we are getting here just 14 oxygen right 14 oxygen in the left hand side okay so now our calcium is balanced our phosphorus is balanced but our hydrogen is not balanced here we have uh, 12 hydrogen but here we have just two hydrogen so to balance the hydrogen what can i do i can multiply here by six right that gives me 12 hydrogen so if i multiply here by six this six must come before this hydrogen that is here so i have to place here six if i place here six then the number of hydrogen will be 12 right and ox our number of uh, oxygen will be changed so we are getting here six oxygen right so we are getting here six totally we are getting here 14 oxygen right so here we have eight plus here we have six 14 oxygen now everything is balanced see here calcium 3 3 is balanced then oxygen 14 14 is balanced then hydrogen 12 12 2 is balanced then phosphorus 2 2 is balanced right so you can say that this is the balanced equation i will show you the second way to balance this equation so let me write that okay now we are doing uh, we are we are going to balance this equation by uh, in the second way right okay for for second way you have to bear in mind that uh, always you have to think that you can write water like h wedge right h wedge so consider here right consider here h wedge okay h wedge so let me draw a table like this so here we have uh, calcium one then we have to think uh, like polyatomic molecule here we have two wedge and here uh, we have three hydrogen right here we have three hydrogen plus here we have one phosphate radical right PO4 uh, we have one here on the right hand side we have calcium the number of calcium is 3 and phosphate we have 2 phosphate right so PO4 we have 2 phosphate and here we have 1 hydrogen and here we have 2 wedge 1 wedge right 1 wedge now let me first balance the calcium first so I can multiply here by 3 that gives me 3 that is uh, this three must come before this calcium that is here so if i place here three the number of hydroxide will be two times three that is six so we are getting here six hydroxide right okay now our calcium is balanced our hydroxide is not balanced six six our uh, hydrogen is not balanced three one so what will you do to balance uh and our phosphate is not balanced so you can easily balance the phosphate here we have two here we have one so you can uh, multiply here by two that gives you two and these two must come before this phosphate that is here so you have to place here two right if you place here two the number of phosphate will be two but the number of hydrogen will be here three times two six so you have to right here uh, six hydrogen right okay now your calcium is balanced your phosphate is balanced uh, but your hydrogen is not balanced here so to balance the hydrogen you can multiply here by six that gives you six so this six must come before this hydrogen that is here so you have to place here six 
if you place here 6 the number of hydroxide uh, ion will be 6 so you have to place here uh, you have to uh, uh, place here 6 right so now you see your calcium uh, 3 3 is balanced uh, hydroxide 6 is, is balanced and uh, hydrogen uh, 6 6 is balanced and phosphate 2 2 is balanced so you can say that this is the balanced equation so uh, I think this way is very uh, easy to balance this equation right you will not get uh, this technique easily in the YouTube so thank you for being this video be well